Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Adam, and today in baseball history, I'm going to be telling you the story of how baseball originated in Mexico. So let's get started. Although there is some dispute about exactly when and where baseball started in Mexico, there are two main theories. Theory number one says that baseball was introduced by American soldiers during the Mexican-American War between 1846 through 1848, while theory number two says that baseball was introduced by Cuban people during the 1880s. Either way, baseball started rising in popularity during the 1880s, and in 1925 the Mexican Baseball League was founded, with all the games being played in Mexico City. The league started becoming really popular, becoming one of the go-to leagues for African Americans who were still banned from the MLB until Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in 1947, and many Cubans started playing in that league too. In 1933, Baldomero Almada became the first Mexican-born player to play in the MLB, debuting for the Red Sox on September 8, 1933. In the 1940s, multi-millionaire Jorge Pasquel attempted to turn the Mexican League into a first-rate rival to the major leagues in the United States. In 1946, Pasquel traveled north of the border to pursue the top players in the African American League and major leagues. Although he was reportedly turned down by Ted Williams and Joe DiMaggio, Pasquel signed up close to 20 white major leaguers, including such well-known names as Mickey Owen and Sal Nagley, and a number of African-American league players. Ultimately, Pasquel's dream faded as financial realities led to decreased salaries and his high-priced foreign stars returned home. In 1957, baseball in Mexico got a big boost when a Little League team in Mexico won the Little League World Series in Williamsport. 12-year-old Angel Macias won the championship for the Mexicans by throwing a perfect game against a team from La Mesa, California. But even though Mexico has a great baseball foundation, only eight Mexican-born players managed to play in the MLB in 2019, which is a really low number considering Mexico has a population of 126 million people, which is much more than other countries with many more players playing in the MLB. This is due to one major obstacle in Mexico's system for assigning players to major league teams. Under the old system, the Mexican Baseball League the largest of two professional baseball leagues in Mexico controlled the contracts of its players. As a result, the teams often charged outrageous fees, as much as 75% of a player's signing bonus to release players. An MLB scout explained it like this. Mexican teams could hold a player's rights in perpetuity, so the player could only play in Major League Baseball if the team allowed them to leave. And that led to those teams demanding sometimes what was perceived as exorbitant fees from major league teams in order to get that Mexican talent. With the depot in the Dominican Republic, Cuba and Venezuela, it just wasn't necessarily worth it when you could secure some of that similar level of talent in other places for cheaper. In 2019, MOE was able to reach an agreement on a new deal which aims to get more Mexican players into the MOB. The new agreement allows Mexican teams to release players to sign with MOB clubs before they have foreign professional status. Under the deal, Major League teams will owe the former team 15% of the guaranteed value of a Major League contract or 35% of the signing bonus of a Minor League contract. This deal should lead to a massive increase in Mexican players in the MLB. That will be all for today. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you next time.